just, as I said before, a pleasure to be with you, to uh, share with you the experience that a headless way points to. What I am going to share with you is uh, very obvious. It's a nonverbal experience. And I will take you through a, a few experiments to guide our attention to this nonverbal experience. This experience is not a wow. It is not getting high. It is a uh, Looking at what you are now, whatever you're feeling, whatever's going on. And it is noticing the difference between your appearance, what you look like, and your reality, what you are at center. So I can see my appearance on the screen. I can see my face, and I can see your appearances, your faces there. But when I look at myself, I do not see my own face what I see instead is open space awareness, full of the world. So here's the first awareness exercise for you to do. And what you're going to do is first direct your attention out and then direct your attention in. Simple. I'm going to ask you to do something very uh, childlike. So if you play with me, I will be happy. <laughs> So, eyes open. Take your finger and point at something. Well, point at someone on the screen. You can point at me if you like to direct your attention at that appearance. And notice you can see a face there, tiny with a boundary. Now, point back at where other people see your face. So, turn your finger around. I do not see a face here. I just see open awareness space. Now. now hold your hands out in front of you like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to move your hands back past your head in a moment. Move your hands past your head and notice they get bigger. And then notice they disappear. You've got to go, they disappear, I say, into this great space that you are. And then bring your hands forward. They come out of the void. Simple. Everyone else can see your appearance, your face. But you can see something that no one else can see. Where you see my face now, I see nothing. We call it a single eye. Take your hands and go around the edge of the field of view. <laughs> yeah, simple. Because this space has no boundary, no name. Everybody, I say, everybody is looking out of this vast open space. From the outside, we have different faces. We're different on the screen. We're different. We're separate, head to head. But on the inside, it's different. Face to no face. So I am space for you. <laughs> which is wonderful. Yeah. So I believe that you are in the same wonderful condition that I am in. あの、僕は、あの、日頃からこの格好をして、あの、え、生きてるんですけど、この
黄色い人が映って、わーっとかって思ったりするんですけど、なんかちょっとそういうことに近かったりするのかなと思ったんですが、違いますでしょうか。Yes. Yes. You see,、uh, when you're a baby, you don't know about your appearance yet. So, as a baby, you're headless. So, we all started in that condition. And you looked in the mirror, and that was not you. But your parents told you that that was you. So you learn to imagine that face there,、mm. here, where you cannot see it. And that,、uh, through language, video, cameras, you learn to wear that face, imagine that face.、Mm. And everybody tells you that that is who you are.、Mm. But the headless way says, stop、mm. and look for yourself. So, I can see Richard on the screen, and I understand that that's what I look like. But now I distinguish between my tiny little appearance there and my <laughs> infinite space here.、Mm -hmm. When I imagine that tiny little face there, when I imagine it here, I feel. Small. When I walk around imagining what others see, I feel, I feel self conscious. I feel small.、Mm. I feel I do not feel free. When I see this big space here, it's like being invisible and free. u n c h i m a さん、そんな、あそれで答えになったでしょうかなんか少しヒントがいただけたような気がします。こういう格好して生きててもこうなんかこう花が綺麗だとか空が美しいとかっていうようなことを考えその思ってる感じてる時は、まあ、自分というよりも何かその、うん、自分であって自分でないような感じなのかなっていう気はしてます。はい、で自分の,あの自分の格好のことはまあ忘れてる自分の格好は忘れてることが多いんじゃないですかほとんど忘れてます。ね、はい、他の人が指摘して初めて、ええ、はい、そのこ,はこんな格好してるんだと。そうそうそうそう,そう。はいはい。はい。はい。はい。えっと千九百七十七年にダグラスさんが魂の闇夜に入ってしまって、自分のことをすごく自信を失ってしまって、でまあ長くこの見ることをやっていると、ツタが絡まるようにその分離した事故を見失ってしまうとかって本にあったんですけど、その魂の闇夜に入るきっかけのようなものはあったんですか ?The headless way is noticing that you are built open. And、uh, this is immediate and total. You, you can't half see your You will know face, you see it all at once. If you practice this, you will discover many things. You will discover that freedom that our friend was talking about. You will discover you are face to no face with others. You will get deep realizations. You will notice when you're driving that you're still and the scenery moves through you. This very simple observation leads to very deep things. But at some point, if you practice, you will probably find that the realizations all go. You lose them all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then you might think. That it's not working. This is a kind of dark night when it does nothing for you. Then you have a choice. Are you going to stop practicing because it does nothing for you? Or are you going to continue practicing simply because it's true? 
Now the right choice, <laughs> the right choice is to do it because it's true. <laughs> Even though it does nothing for me, I admit it is true. I am built open. Dark night that Douglas was talking about is when everything drops away. Uh, but if you stay true to it, uh, it's a kind of breakthrough. But if you find uh, that practicing the headless way does not make you feel better today, nothing has gone wrong. Be patient. Stay with the truth, and I have full confidence that your true nature will then give you what you need rather than what you think you need. <laughs> <laughs> your, uh, your true nature, that space there, this, this awareness that is not separate from every, anything. Everything is in you now. This, your true nature, is remarkable, uh, endlessly deep, you see. You are endlessly deep. You are a, a great mystery. Headless way sounds very simple, but it leads directly into this mystery that you are. It's not primarily thinking but seeing very simple like a child i'm noticing there's no surface here no face here for me mm -hmm. that separates me from you and the world no yeah. surface no dividing line いかがですかこれであの魂の闇のきっかけねあのそういう時点に入ってしまったすべてがドロップアウトしてしまったっていうことでそれで納得できますかはいどうもありがとうございました体の自分とか自分っていうのは他の人から見た自分だし考えた自分であって本当の体験に基づいた自分っていうのはなんかなんていうか気づきのスペースだなっていう感じがしてで常にその自分がその気づきのスペースであり続けるっていう意識を なんか持つと面白いなというか無限の可能性なんだなっていう感覚がしてきましたねでそうするとなんかうんいわゆる外側と後内側の高いが頭というか内側には無限に広がってて外側には自分の作った自分が色付けした世界があってみたいなそういうのを感じるんですけどうんあ、そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
you have both. I am now aware of the space again that has always been here, but I am also aware of Richard. Mm -hmm. And the two go together. Mm -hmm. Seeing the space does not mean I have to get rid of Richard. I, I, Richard is, I'm aware of Richard. Richard is happening in the space. So uh, this is very kind. <laughs> <laughs> it means you don't have to do violence and try and get rid of yourself. You, you, you have space for yourself as well. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. So one wonderful thing to notice, I think, is uh, that this space that I that you are looking out of is single. How many consciousnesses, how many spaces do you actually experience? I experience one. Okay. So okay. when I'm speaking, I hear my voice coming out of this one silence, this one consciousness. And when I hear, say, you speaking, Eddie, your voice is also in this one consciousness. Two voices in one consciousness. ジェフリーの一番最初の気づきの経験っていうのはこのヘッドレスウェイで誰かがこのヘッドレスウェイをやってる時にコップの棒を落として床に落としてそれが壊れたそのガラスの音がが外側ではなくて自分の中で経験でき
we stay with that and uh, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. A useful image for me is if you want the flower to grow, water the root. This means don't chase the feelings. Just keep coming back to that ground. It will grow. It will, uh, be, it will become natural to be who you really are. One of the great things about knowing others who are aware of their true nature is it is very supportive uh, and it normalizes it. And it, it uh, is kind of infectious in a way. So our, our meeting today is uh, one more step of normalizing this awareness in our lives. It is normal. It is healthy. It is sane. It is not strange. It is being true to yourself, your true self, which is available. I say it is available at will. Feelings of oneness are not available at will. They come by grace. But your true nature, you, you, as you are now, privately, that's what uh, I am celebrating here. Hi, I think that's that's Thank you very much. Kochira ga Richard Langu san no shosho de atama ga nai otoko. 頭がない方法の創始者のダグラス・ハーディングさんの人生と哲学をコミックのように読みやすく書いた本で全て日本語に訳されています。Amazon で入手できます。Lovely to share the space with you all. And,、uh, yeah. okay. Okay. ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。